Hey, hi, beautiful. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Peladi and I hope you are still doing well. If you'd like to see me again or you just don't want to miss another upload, fam, just click the subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on another upload. So, bestie, today's makeup tutorial is in collaboration with Freyara. They were kind enough to send me two of their eyeliners in their 30 piece professional brush makeup set. So, I am very excited to try out their brushes today while I do this makeup tutorial using products under 200 rands and disclaimer for everybody else that commented on the previous 100 rand tutorial that oh it was clickbait none of the products are uh these products are under 100 rand each as if there's ever been makeup your fiber like come on seriously out of being serious now have you ever bought makeup for 250 how can i do a makeup tutorial under 100 rand only what am i gonna buy just the foundation Anywho, let's get straight into today's video. First and foremost, basically, these brushes are so incredible. They are so soft. What I love most about these brushes, though, is that they each have their uses. So, of course, they are perfect for beginners in makeup. In case you get all these bunch of brushes and you don't know which one is for what, they don't only have a guide. They are written on the handles, which is an absolute plus. And I love this for all my beginners. Remember, when you go onto Faraya's website, you can use my code, which I will put up here and in the description to get money off. But I really highly recommend this brush set before I even use it because of this outstanding feature. What I've been loving to do is I've been loving to apply a serum before my primer. And the serum that I will be applying today is by Estelin. It's their salicylic acid serum that I absolutely love underneath my makeup as I feel like it, it protects <laughs> my skin from the makeup as if makeup damages skin. Makeup doesn't damage your skin, only if you don't take it off correctly, but I stand to be corrected. So this is the serum. I bought it off Take A Lot and I will apply, I mean, I will paste, I will, <laughs> I will insert all the prices Woo so, oh, i will insert all the prices in the video going forth <laughs> can you see just how nourishing it is after that i just let it like seep into my skin before i go in with the primer so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to do my brows and for that i will be using the modern dolls fluffy brow soap which i bought off modern dolls website uh, brush set doesn't have a spoolie they've got this lash and brow comb and i'm going to try and use this but you know when you're not used to something let me just try it for today because i really do just exclusively want to use this brush set so that's what I'm gonna do. I even thought of calling you up. It's not bad using this brush instead of a spoolie, actually. It's just that you know when you're used to something, you're used to it. <laughs> to prime my face, I will be going in with my Sheet Lamb Birthday Skin Primer. I'm really falling in love with Shein and their affordable beauty products. As you beauties know, I have always been for affordable beauty and Sheet Lamb is right along my alley when it comes to saving that coin, sis. Ooh, not me forgetting that I have brow soap on, like... I remember when I first started filming tutorials, <laughs> I would catch myself in edit. This is going like... <laughs> Who does that? <laughs> Which influencer does that? <laughs> Those are the days, the early days. Don't come at me because, hey, we have grown up in here and blossomed. <laughs> okay, now back to brows. I will be going in with my Smudge Cosmetics Brown Brow Mascara, which I got from Clix. And now to draw the tail part of my brow, I'm going to use my brown Davis Eye Pencil, which I bought Oh my guy guy. If I say the word, my mom will never let me hear the end of it. Just like in a previous video, I'm still hearing about it today. So if I say Oh my guy guy, you guys know where it is. So yeah, <laughs> let's play it safe today. I just realized that I didn't powder down my brows and you know, I do not like 
oily anything on my face so i'm going to just powder them down now using my sorbet powder to you loose powder in the shade medium and the one in translucent i mix the powder so i can't show you the container but you can get it from clicks and yes it is under 200 rand Actually, Bestie, Shein was kind enough to send me some PR and they sent me their new Insta Ready Face and Eye Setting Powder Duo. So that is what I'm going to use to powder down my brows. You know, say what you like about nails. Yes, we love them and all, but sometimes it's the little things that you just can't do. Like there's tape in here, there's a sticker that seals the powder. But for the life of me, I cannot grip it. <laughs> and i have to look for tweezers so yeah and of course i can't find my tweezers so i'll just use my lash applicator Mariana, creepy. <laughs> yeah and then it just shows that i haven't okay we're winning okay so this is the second part of the powder as you can see it's got this little convenient thing that you can open and close so that things don't become messy because you beauties know how these powders can be so messy and i think this is so nice that they put something that you can open, twist it and close it at will so that it doesn't spill out in case you have it in your bag and you use it for touch-up so this is the powder that i'm going to use to powder down my brows and for that i will be using the freyara power brush it looks like a powder brush so that is what i'm going to use One thing about Shein is that their products are good as the best, but for less. And now I barely fill them in. I just like, with little strides, just touch, touch, touch. Like, as you can see, I'm not making them dark anymore because we are in the era of fluffy brows. And as with sparse brows, just have to make a plan so this is the plan that i am making <laughs> and i'm also going to show you another hack with eyeliner that i've started doing ever since the freyara eyeliner came through and i'm going to continue to do until the fluffy brow trend ends <laughs> all right so now i'm going to take that lash brow comb and i'm just going to spray this is what i'd normally do on my spoolie i'm going to spray the bristles and then i'm going to go over this part of my brow where I went in with the pencil all right so this is the Freyara eyeliner it doesn't come branded or anything and it's a felt to pen what I'm going to do is I'm going to painstakingly slowly create hair like strokes to make my brows appear more fluffier and bushier along the tail part And because it's black and brown, you really want to be gentle and go over that area with a very light hand. To clean my brows, I will be going in with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Multi-Use Concealer in the shade Tan. And I will be using the Freyara Concealer Brush. I am a big fan of an angled concealer brush. I've never used an angled concealer brush like this for my brows. I think it's very ingenious because it really helps you get into that arc and shape it and clean it just the way you like. And after cleaning the top part of my brows, I will be using the one and only Sheet Lamp Complexion Pro Foundation, which I'm in the shade Hazelnut. Ever since I got this foundation, I cannot seem to put it down. I mean, it is my perfect shade in every sense of the word plus it's under 200 rand and while i let my concealer get a bit more tacky i will be going in with foundation i will be wearing that same sheet lamp complexion pro foundation in the shade hazelnut using my freyara foundation brush I must say the bristles are actually rather soft even though the brush is quite densely packed which we love in a foundation brush because it's able to stifle the product almost like a beauty blender. 
bit better. To contour, I will be using my beloved Makeup Revolution Foundation Stick in the shade F18. To conceal and highlight the center of my face, I will be going in with that Maybelline Instant Age Eraser Concealer, which I'm in the shade 10. And now we're going to blend out the contour first, just so that the concealer can become a little more full coverage by letting it sit for a bit. And I will blend out my contour using my Freyara Contour Brush. What I love about these brushes is that they are more on the fluffy side and even though the bristles are stiffly packed together, they are still soft when it lands on your face and it doesn't feel like wacky gonga. <laughs> like some brushes. I can actually get used to this another pamper session with a different set of brushes i love these ones because they are very beginner friendly they're on the beginner makeup part side because they are written and it's not always as a beginner you know what brushes for what especially if it doesn't have a leaflet or anything you just play guessing games but with these brushes you know exactly where to use which brush i mean look at just just look at how it glides and curves with each part of my face. I mean, it's angled, so of course it will give you a much more defined and detailed blend. To blend out my concealer, this is the Freyara Concealer Brush, but for the life of me, I have never blended out my concealer with the brush that looks like a foundation brush, but let's give it a try. Okay, it's just that it's it's new to me, this technique of using this brush to blend out my concealer, but let's go with it because that means it is a concealer brush, really. And it is not doing a bad job whatsoever. I really love this concealer because it's the perfect shade. It's not as drying as the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation that I used to use as concealer. I found that it really dried my under eyes a lot, so much so that I even started having eczema underneath my eyes and it would just get worse and worse and worse as I applied my makeup, especially the powder part. So that's why I decided to switch. I also have the Catrice True Skin Concealer, which is also very hydrating. It's just that I got it in the wrong shade, but we will talk more about this one in my next tutorial. Now for the concealer underneath my eyes, I would actually much rather go in with this Freyara powder brush. It says it's a powder brush, but I would much rather use it to blend out this concealer. And that shall be its sole job from now on. <laughs> wow, so flawless. But yet again, this concealer is actually incredible. It blends so easily. It's non-drying. I am never going to use another concealer brush ever again. <laughs> this is just so soft. And it's big. And because of this angle at the top, it's very easy to get in this nook here right underneath my eyes. Now I'm going to go in with my foundation brush just to mesh where the concealer and contour meet. That's what I did on my forehead. As you can see, beauties, makeup is all about the tools. If you do not have the right tools, your makeup will never look like mine and it won't look good either if you don't have the correct tools to apply your products with because products are only as good as your tools are. All right, bestie, so now I'm going to blend out my nose contour using my Freyara eyeshadow brush. It says it's an eyeshadow brush, but I have never used a brush like this for eyeshadow, so I'm going to use it to blend out my F17 concealer to brighten up my under eye area I will be going in with yet another Maybelline concealer this time it's their fit me concealer in the shade 30 otherwise known as honey
for blush i will be going in with my sheet lamb liquid blush it's their color bloom edition and it's in the shade swipe right that part is not necessary it's just if you're feeling a bit extra and you just want to add more color to your face And on my chin, I only take the remnants of what is left on the brush. I mean, darling. to you now i will never use another brush to blend out my concealer after this and now to set this concealer i will be going in with my sorbet powder to you translucent powders in the shades translucent and medium using my freyara power brush And that is exactly how you want to set your concealer with a little powder at a time going back and building up on the first initial light layer still going in with a light layer you pat right on top of the previous one until it almost disappears i love the functionality of these brushes they don't just look nice they actually do work well and i'm going to set my contour using my smudge press powder in the shade mahogany i will be using the same contour brush by freyara that we used earlier on what i like about this powder is that it is on the cool side but it's not too harsh to set the rest of my face i will be going in with my yardley stay fast press powder this one is in the shade walnut and i will be using it with the freyara buffer brush this time All right, bestie, so now that I've brought you a tad bit closer, we're not going to do the eyes. We're going to do a very soft eye today. But before that, I will prime my lid space using my Makeup Revolution Prime and Lock Eyeshadow Primer. One of the palettes that I will be playing in today is the Makeup Revolution Velvet Rose Eyeshadow Palette and the Sheet Lamp Sunflower Hour Eyeshadow Palette. And the first shade I will be going in with is from... The makeup revolution one and it is this one right here i will blend it and apply it all over my outer crease area i will be using the freyara blending brush one of their blending brushes to do that i want to bring it slightly into the crease but not all the way And I will be going in with this shade right here just to diffuse this brown and make sure that it's nice and blown out. You want to concentrate the shade only on the outer part of the color so that you don't lose out on the intensity of the first one. But it's always safe to start with the outer edge because you can always go back in with the first color. So now that we are done with the blending of the, the outer area color, I'm going to now intensify that color by using the dark brown one with my Freyara Beauty pencil brush. What you want to do with the shade is you want to just apply it directly and mostly only on your outer C area. Then you're just going to mesh those shades together. One thing about soft lamb, you will blend. You will blend with your life, my dear. Mm -hmm. 
and now that my eyes are looking nice and well blended i'm going to go back in the palette i thought i was going to use the sunflower hour one but it seems like the makeup revolution one will be enough for this look so i'm going to now go in with these two shades on my mobile lid using the ferraya beauty eyeshadow brush it's another eyeshadow brush what you want to do is you just want to pack the shade all over the middle part of your mobile lid with your eye closed so that it doesn't crease on you always remember to tap off the excess a lot of you ask and that is how i don't get fallout underneath my eye even though i've already done and set my base Okay, bestie, so I have applied my lashes, obviously, and I've underlined my waterline using my NYX Jumbo Pencil. The only reason why I didn't show it is because NYX is no longer available in the country, and I don't remember if it was below 200 rand, but of course, you can always use any other white eye liner that you have, but always remember to set it as well. I set it with the shade from the Velvet Rose Palette. So now on two lips, I'm going to line and overline my lips using my brown Davis Eye Pencil that we used to do our brows. But you know what? To get that voluptuous lips effect, I'm going to go in with my Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in the shade Deep Black. I know this looks a bit crazy, but trust the process. I'm going to take the Freyara lip brush just to diffuse this black pencil. You're not even diffusing it, we are blending it inwards. To further diffuse this black, I will be going in with my Bridget & Co lip gloss. This one is in the shade Rude Brown. And now to lock everything in, I will be going in with my Maybelline Lasting Fix Setting Spray. Always remember when you are setting your face, always go around in a circle like so. And now for the review of these Freyara Beauty makeup brushes. Bestie, I really love these brushes. Can you even believe that I haven't even used all of them, including the eye brushes? I think that these are perfect for a beginner in makeup who doesn't know what brush is for what. They're very durable. You can just feel by the weight of them and how sturdy they are that they're very durable because sometimes luxur luxury doesn't mean functionality. And yes, I am hinting. So if you are a beginner in makeup, I would highly advise that you get yourself these makeup brushes you will not need another set maybe beauty blenders but you will not need another set of brushes if you have this 30 piece brush set by freyara i will link everything in the comment section and here on the side i mean yes in my description <laughs> and here on in the video so that you guys really know where to go and get your own set of makeup brushes and just like that bestie we have made it to the end of today's makeup tutorial thank you so so much for watching until this far if you haven't already my darling please subscribe to my channel and show your girl some love i will catch up with you again in my next one bye bye